All right, guys. Well, it's Monday, our first day of sub of me being in Texas and you having a sub. Make a quick little video, kind of show you what you guys are supposed to be doing today. Um, so here we are on Schoology. It says, hello, everyone. I've landed in Texas last night. I'm at a conference all day today. Sorry, I'm not there. Been learning all about slope last week and today, and your goal is to pr practice them. So before you start anything, you should be watching this YouTube video. Um, and kind of showing you. Then the next thing you're going to do is first you're going to do an IXL practice with an 80% goal for completion. And it's titled Finding Slope of a Graph 1. Okay, that's your goal. After that, we're going to go to a Desmos online activity. Here's the code right there. And then there's going to be a worksheet provided at the end of class provided by the teacher. Doing all of this should provide you enough work for the rest of the period. However, if you do finish this, finish that, and your worksheet, you are welcome to work on other things as long as you're not um, becoming a distraction to the class. So let me show you what IXL looks like. IXL, it's called the um, Finding the Slope of the Graph 1, where you're going to look at this and you're going to try to figure out the slope of this line, right? So you're going to look here, so it goes from here, right? There's goes from here. In fact, you remember, you have the ability to draw, right? So here's a dot right there. It starts at 60. And we're looking to see where it crosses perfectly in the corner right there. Okay, so it rises from here to there, and then it runs from here to there. So it goes up 20, up 20, and then it goes over 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Make sure you're looking at the numbers, up 20, over 50, right? So your slope is 20 to 50, right? But that reduces to 2 to 5. Right, so your slope is 2 over 5. Click Submit. Ah, we got it right. And we do it again. We're looking at the slope of the line, right? So here's a corner where it hits perfectly on the grid. We use the grids. Nope, nope, nope. And it hits right here on the grid. The grid is what it tells us the slope. So it goes up and over, right? It goes up 10, then over 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we look at the numbers, it's over 40, right? So it's rise over run, 10 to 40. The slope is then reduce, right? 1 to 4. Up 1 over 4. And so on and so forth. Next, you're going to go to student.desmos.com using that code that I gave you on Schoology. And it's going to be kind of like this. Can you use the slope? Can you eyeball it and use the slope to graph the line, right? So if I look here, if a line went through th these two dots, where would it hit? And I think it would hit right there. Okay, and so I put it right there, and I think it would hit right there. You kind of get into a visualizing of where that line's going to be. Okay, and then we kind of answer some questions, and then we kind of look at it. Okay, and we kind of take an idea of what we think it's going to be, and we, then it shows you, like, okay, here's how close you were the first time. Here's how close you were the second time, right? Really bad, and the third time was a lot better. Why did it get better? And you're going to kind of answer these questions and stuff like that kind of work on it and try to figure this out okay nothing too hard nothing too difficult and then after that we have a worksheet and the worksheet looks like this okay you're going to find the slope of each line i've given you the dots on this worksheet okay so you're going to look at it i got a dot here i've got a dot there to get from here to there how far do i move right where do i go well so from here i go up one over one, two, three. So the slope is one to three. It's a positive one third. That's the slope. Because it goes up one over three. Okay. This next one to get from here to there, always left to right. Instead of going up, I'm actually going down. I go down one, two, three, four, five over one. So it goes down five over 1. So the slope is negative 5 over 1. That's the slope. You guys are going to practice finding the slope on that worksheet. That's kind of it for the day. Um, the substitute's welcome to help you. Ask your partners, but do not become a distraction to others in their learning. Thanks, guys.